3D printers come in many shapes and sizes. Some are small and designed for simple 3D prints, while others are huge and can use engineering grade materials for production ready parts. Generally, hobbyists can have a huge variance in their needs, something I myself understand as a 3D printing enthusiast. As such, today I'll be looking at five different 3D printers that you may want to consider for your home workshop or desktop that will enhance all your personal projects. Let's jump in. When you need to 3D print something gargantuan, the Ender 5 Plus from Creality should be at the top of your short list. This behemoth of a 3D printer has a 350 by 350 millimeter build plate with a finished print height of 400 millimeters. In relative terms, you can 3D print an entire helmet in one piece on this 3D printer, albeit with a significant amount of support structures. Although it's related to the Ender 5, the Ender 5 Plus reconfigures the build plate to be supported from both the left and right, rather than a cantilever design from the back. This helps keep the entire build plate well supported and allows the Z-axis to have smooth, consistent motion. For an improved user experience, a filament runout sensor is mounted in line with the filament path to make sure your 3D prints aren't in danger of running out of material. A Beagle Touch automatic bed leveling sensor makes bed leveling simple and easy, and a touchscreen for easy and intuitive navigation. The Ender 5 Plus is a force to be reckoned with and should be part of any workshop that consistently makes large 3D printed projects. If you need to 3D print with engineering grade materials, whether it's parts for your new FPV drone or a custom designed RC car chassis, the Pulse XE is the ideal choice. While the Pulse line of 3D printers from Matterhackers was designed to be customized to everyone's unique and individual needs, we have bundled together several upgrades into cost-effective packages, like the Pulse XE. This machine can 3D print with carbon fiber reinforced nylon X right out of the box thanks to its geared Bontech BMG extruder, all metal E3D V6 hot end, hardened steel nozzle, and Gerolite build surface. At its core, the Pulse XE is a 24 volt system, which enables faster heat up times and more efficient operation, and is built around an aluminum frame for supreme structural rigidity. Even though the Pulse XE is bundled with a purpose, you still have the option to pick and choose additional upgrades to build a printer right at your price point with all the features you need. Creality has firmly established themselves as being a hobbyist and tinker-friendly 3D printer manufacturer. More than likely, most hobbyists will have gotten their start in 3D printing with an Ender 3, a sub $200 3D printer that's capable enough for anyone looking to dip their toe into the 3D printing waters without significant investment. As part of that, the Ender 3 does not have any bells or whistles. You won't find dual drive extruder gears or an all metal hot end. Instead, components are essentially just enough to be a functional 3D printer. There's beauty in that though, as it lends itself to upgradability and a community built around modding. Name an upgrade part and there's likely someone out there that's already 3D modeled, printed, and tested a new mount to integrate it into the Ender 3. This machine is a fantastic choice for any hobbyist or newcomer to the 3D printing scene. Resin 3D printing in the home workshop took off with the Piopoli Moai Resin 3D printer. This machine can be purchased fully assembled or as a kit to save you either time or money. Miniatures, high detail prototypes, and jewelry are just a few examples of what we've seen people use their Piopoli Moai for. In contrast to many other desktop resin 3D printers, the Piopoli Moai features a tilting mechanism which helps break the suction force holding the printed part to the vat, as most other resin printers simply lift straight up out of the vat. By using a laser rather than an LCD screen to cure the resin, layer resolution can be a lot smoother as the laser traces out the perimeters of the 3D print rather than the blocky pixels that can be apparent on some LCD based resin 3D prints. And by building the Moai kit, you gain an intimate understanding of the construction and maintenance of the Piopoli Moai. So should you need to make any repairs or upgrades, you know exactly where to find each component. As a whole, Piopoli's success can be traced back to the performance of this 3D printer and the community's confidence in it as a reliable 3D printing platform. The CraftBot Plus Pro is a printer built like a tank and runs like a sports car. Craft Unique has continually improved the CraftBot, releasing the CraftBot Plus, then more recently the CraftBot Plus Pro, each time adding more features so you can get better printed parts. Having a 3D printer that works well, no tinkering required, can be a game changer for any hobbyist, and this is an experience you can expect with the CraftBot Plus Pro. The Pro upgrades the build plate with a removable borosilicate glass plate with a layer of capped on tape, adds a filament sensor that detects runouts and jams, and improves the print head with an all metal hot end and more efficient layer cooling fans. Every CraftBot Plus Pro also features the latest Predator main board for silent 3D printing and a full color intuitive touchscreen for navigation. All of these amazing features are packaged together in an all steel chassis with plexiglass side panels for robust construction and easy viewing of progressing prints. 
I've just touched on a handful of hobbyist machines available at Matter Hackers, but we have a ton more that can help you find the perfect one. To make the process even easier for you, all you have to do is send our sales team an email or give us a call and we can get you on track with your next 3D printer. If there are any 3D printers I didn't mention here that you feel other hobbies should know about, share your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. As a 3D printing hobbyist, I've had the good fortune of being able to use all the 3D printers on this list, and each has their own unique qualities that have helped me with the things I like to do. Like building my own 3D printers with engineering grade materials like Nylon X, or just making something fun that I otherwise wouldn't know how to make. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com, or to stay up to date with all our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.